Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Paige Godfrey. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This morning, we'll tell you about the Russian Prime Minister's views on Trump's team, an update on the Zika virus, and more. Today is Friday, December 16th, and this is the Morning Report. Although pestered to a fair thee well to abandon Donald Trump, Republican electors appear to be in no mood for an insurrection in the presidential campaign's last voting ritual. This most untraditional of elections is on course to produce a traditional outcome Monday, an electoral college ticket to the White House for the president-elect. Whether they like Trump or not, and some surely don't, scores of the Republicans chosen to cast votes in the state capitol meetings told AP they feel bound by history, duty, party loyalty, or the law to rubber stamp their state's results and make him president. You can read more at leeherald.com. The Russian Prime Minister has lauded nominees for the incoming Trump administration as people with no anti-Russian stereotypes. The Prime Minister said in a televised interview on Thursday that Moscow is glad ExxonMobil CEO Rex Tillerson has been nominated for Secretary of State, describing him as someone with pragmatic thinking. He also said President-elect Donald Trump's recent appointments show that he hires people who don't have ingrained anti-Russian stereotypes or any stereotypes. State health officials Wednesday reported six new travel-related cases of the Zika virus as the total number of such cases neared 1,000. In travel-related cases, people are infected with the mosquito-borne virus elsewhere and then bring it into Florida. Three of the new cases were in Orange County, two were in Miami-Dade County, and one was in Lee County, according to information posted on the State Department of Health website. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Paige Godfrey. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.